Hey guys, it's Jess. This is my instant reaction for Arsenal nil, Brighton nil. Keep it short and sweet. I think that, um, you know, kind of a huge letdown after the North London Derby, but I don't think too unrealistic for our imaginations to envision something similar to that. Um, I think in terms of, I think tactically, I just, I feel the, the way that we kind of just decided we weren't going to press them, not get near them, give them tons of space in midfield. Thomas Party and Lakanga vacating midfield to play left back and center back really hurt us, especially in those first 20 minutes. Um, at first, I thought it was the conditions, but ultimately, it's it's not the conditions. It's the way that we set up. And um, if you allow a team like Brighton the ball like that, then just expect for them to create chances. Um, they did exactly what we should have done to us. We're a pretty good technical team that can find pockets of space with space. Um, why? I mean, Potter knew to press us because then we can't beat them. You know, if you press a technically good team, um, if they're not at the level of City or Liverpool, you probably could get something out of them. So Potter decided to press us off the pitch. Why we didn't do that the same it will be beyond me. We just didn't even lay a glove on them. And I wouldn't be surprised if they were shocked by that. We know that teams are gonna press us. We just didn't deal with it well. And I just felt like if we had at least got stuck in, I remember there were times where Emil Smith Rowan and Bakayo um, just pressed their guy just a little bit and they gave us the ball. Shock, this is not prime Barcelona, it's Brighton. And even though they're well coached, they can, they'll lose the ball just like we will. I think that was the main issue was just tactically we were set up to sit back and allow them to play football around us like we were cones. And I don't really know what the game plan was beyond that. Um, there were some really poor performances. I don't know if it was just um, being out of their depth or tactically um, discombobulated or just a poor day at the office. But um, Odegaard for me, just mentality wise in terms of like losing the ball and then jumping up and down and walking, not, not a good look for him. Tommy Asu had a bad day on the ball, but he never really gave up. And, and that's what you're really looking for, for an Arsenal player. Um, Thomas Partey, just not good enough for him. A player of his stature should be a lot better than that. Amamiang, just you can't play well in the North London Derby and show us what you're made of and then just put in the lackluster performance that you did. I mean, that was just not being ready for crosses, not going up for your one-on-one -on -one duels, poor on the ball, just everything banging off of your shins. It was just really bad for a bombing today. I don't think the subs were poor. I think there were the subs that should have came on, but it was just already done. And games like this where everybody looks poor, you do have to look at the tactics, but I do tend to want to hold the players responsible for their, their, their part in this as well. You still should be able to trap a ball. You still should be able to square a ball. You know, um, so there's definitely that. And um, I do want to give some praise to Gabrielle, who, again, looked like a world-class defender today. I mean, if it weren't for him and Ramsdale, we probably would have lost that game. And just the progression of Gabrielle, not only from his defending and his um, leadership and taking responsibility, which a lot of players did not, he's better on the ball now. And I'm loving that for him. Ramsdale looks amazing and is stepping up to the plate and um, making his name known and I love that about him so in the midst of some really bad performances there were some good gems in there um as well and so we move on what I will say is that some people will be like oh see we shouldn't get excited and no I mean I think things are inconclusive I think after the North London Derby things were looking up and we had a, a dip and we knew we were going to lose a game at some point or, or drop points at some point. Now, if we go into Leeds and Aston Villa and Crystal Palace and lose more, then we're, we're in trouble. But um, I wouldn't just start freaking out just yet because um, we know how things can change quite quickly. Um, I really wish Sambi would have did a better job because I do feel like he would be a good um, player to play in next to Thomas Party while Granite Xhaka is gone. But I wouldn't be surprised if next, in the next game, we saw an Odegaard ESR type midfield with Thomas Party come back because he just didn't really, he didn't really stake his claim, right? And um, that's not to make a judgment on who he's going to be for Arsenal long term, but I just don't think he really had a great game. And maybe it's time to also talk about Karen Tierney as well. He's somebody that I feel like may need a break. And um, I wouldn't mind seeing Tavares come in. 
um, in the next game and maybe just give him some rest. So my name is Jessica. You can follow me on Twitter at It's Jacinio, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.